So for our technology, you know, much of my background in the team we've brought on recently is much more on the manufacturing side of battery cells. So we started off designing, you know, some of the largest, you know, battery factories in the world, you know, at the, the Tesla <coughs> Panasonic facility near Reno. That's where much of our team came from. And when you really work manufacturing battery cells, going from raw materials to refined powders, to slurries, to coated systems, to dry cells, to rolls, to modules, to packs, and you see each of those incremental stages, each one of those is really where you see these different types of defects come off, where you see different physics-based mechanisms of what actually causes each step in the manufacturing process to fail. And when we came to design a recycling system, we actually designed what we call a demanufacturing process. So using many of the tools that we developed on the cell manufacturing side, we're now essentially doing those in reverse and actually backing them out. It allows for a very automated and a very low residence time process to reverse that system. And then when we talk about hydrometallurgy, it's, it's still a very large umbrella, a large set of technologies that fall within that family. And just because a few different systems are based in hydrometallurgy doesn't mean that they're at all similar. So by doing that reverse manufacturing process up front, we're able to remove a, a very large amount of the low value materials, of the support materials, the subcell structures, and even separate out the subcell components that are chemically bonded together. And when we do that, the type of you know, slurry and filter cake we get at the end is very targeted already has very large amounts of the would-be impurities removed, and that's allowed us to put together a rather simplified hydrometallurgy train. So we've been able to remove entire impurity removal circuits that would have been needed otherwise, but because we're able to remove these components mechanically up front, it greatly simplifies that back end. And every time you have an impurity removal system, no matter how good it is, you always take a little bit of the product of value as well. So the fewer impurity removal systems there are, the higher the recovery ratio. And then as far as the cost of these types of recycling plants, they really do end up being dominated by the chemical consumables in the hydrometallurgy train. Large amounts of the, uh, the acids, the caustics, the organics, the oxidizers that are consumed in the back end. And by having this targeted process, it really lets us reduce all of those chemical loadings, which reduces the operating costs of the plant and increases the recovery ratios of the high value products.